Marvel Studios Nova is going to be with us before the end of the decade. Now, while that sounds pretty far away, time just happens to fly by quickly. It just feels like yesterday we were talking about Endgame, but it was like five years ago. Almost five years ago. So yeah, let's talk about Nova, because Marvel Studios just released the first details on the series. For well over a decade, Marvel comic fans have been clamoring to get Nova in live action. And of course, we know that there was multiple attempts made to try to introduce the concept, but they never materialized. Up until earlier this year, Marvel Studios had Kevin Feige confirmed that a Nova project is coming to Disney+, Plus, but it's still a few years off. Well, the man behind Marvel TV, Brad Winderbaum, was recently talking to Phase Zero about what is going on, the current status of Nova, and he actually drops our first details on the upcoming series. He describes the Nova series as an amazing ensemble piece with a great cast of characters. Okay, now let me focus on that first. So, if you don't know what an ensemble cast is, it means that, yes, you have a main character, but the main cast makes up what you would consider like the main character slash characters. Think of the bridge of the Star Trek Enterprise or Voyager, right? You think of all the characters like Jean-Luc Picard, William Riker, Data, Dr. Troy. They are all the main cast because it's an ensemble cast made up of main characters. So right here, he confirms to us that this is going to be bigger than just one Nova who we're following. Does this potentially mean that the rumors are true that Sam Alexander, the younger Nova, is in? It could honestly be, so that's very interesting. But then, something else that he followed up with really makes me believe that they're going to do something special with this. And he compared the series, right now, to the likes of Star Trek and my favorite TV series of all time, Battlestar Galactica. Now, if you look up Battlestar Galactica, I'm not talking about the 70s or 80s versions. I'm talking about the 2000s reimagined version. This is a deeply philosophical, down-to-the-core-roots-of-humanity evolution sci-fi series that made sci-fi the channel for high-production TV in the early and mid-2000s. I mean, it's truly deserving of watching if you've never watched it. It does hold up. Yes, some of the visuals are a little um, dated by today's standards, but the story at it will grip you. I rewatch it all the time. It's Again, it's my favorite series. And if they're comparing Nova to Battlestar Galactica, which is hailed as one of the greatest sci-fi series of all time, including the fact that they used to have, and they might still, I don't know, have people who are part of the United Nations watch it because of its implications on society and what we're doing, which clearly none of them have learned due to AI, it is tremendous. If you compare anything to Battlestar Galactica, I expect the greatest thing I'm going to watch that year, possibly even that decade in terms of TV. So, him stating Battlestar Galactica, I'm right there with him. I want this, but they need to do this right, because if you're going to compare yourself to Star Trek and Battlestar, you better have a Hail Mary. Or you're going to get criticized to death. And I will be at that forefront. <laughs> I'm being serious here. You better make it that good if you're willing to compare it to Battlestar. 